Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, which is about twin flame ascension, your spiritual awakening, the journey, all kinds of things. Welcome. If this is new to you, please like and subscribe because you will get a lot of great information here. So this video is about the super moon of July and it is going to be bringing in a lot of things. So I want to explain a little bit about it to kind of take some of the fear out of it for you. You might be scratching your head. In many ways, this moon is ushering in an energy that I would also call end of an era. There has to be an ending to certain things and it is going to ramp up, especially for men. Men who've been trying to get by with just using their mind or even women who just use their mind it's going to be unsatisfactory for you. You can't split your body in two and just use your intellect and your lower chakras. Now, using your heart doesn't always mean being, you know, a bleeding heart liberal. Trust me, I've had jobs where people have said to me, Patricia, you're a bleeding heart liberal. And they kind of meant it affectionately, but I also knew what they meant, which was that, you know, I give in to things. Well, this is one of the hallmarks of being the magnetic twin flame is you get backstabbed a lot, but I'm much better now. And what this moon is going to do is it really is going to affect men. It's going to start to bring awareness to the parts of society, not just society, but also contributing biological factors of what the masculine has either corrupted or it's gotten out of hand or it is just not helpful anymore. Okay, I don't mean to sound accusatory. I have a lot of men in my life that I care for deeply and this is not intended to man bash, but you need to pay attention. This moon energy and the retrograde energy is going to be about change. Like I said, end of an era, end of a way of doing things. We are seeing it in the legislation where things need to either change and people are having certain uh, governmental rights that were granted, taken and stripped away. There's other things that are have been constitutional rights and I'm just talking about my own country. It is the same in other countries, okay? What is legal isn't always moral, and what is moral isn't always legal, or it hasn't been made legal yet. So you have a lot of men that are quite simply carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders, and they're trying to figure out how to fix things, okay? And they're walking around and, oh, are you having a lot of weight on yourself, a lot of the weight of the world? Oh, man, I'm not hunched over like this. It's because I use my cell phone a lot. No. You're trying to figure out how to fix everything all in one fell swoop instead of taking care of you. And the first thing you should do, my goodness, straighten out your spine, grow a spine, okay? Learn how to not be a people pleaser and learn how to say no to things. Learn how to say yes to you and learn a little bit of self-care. Oh my God, it's so hard, like just to make a living. Oh, I can't breathe. And then all of the people that are relying on me and their expectations, oh, you know I'm Italian, right? Oh, well, Italian people and families have a lot of expectations, but so do many cultures, many cultures, many traditions, many religions, even ones that are forgotten in time, but people are, you know, bringing forth to them. People that are only mentioned in ancient texts, and yet people, current day people, modern people are a part of those. Now, we do not always remember the days of the Neanderthals or the Cro-Magnon or any of the other human species forms that we've had, but the vague memories are there, the vague memories of having to provide and having to, you know, push hard and that endless drive of do, 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 do. And guess who it takes a toll on? Yeah, you got it. It takes a toll on the feminine. What? Why are you dressed like this? Or you look like Little Red Riding Hood, like you're waiting for the big bad wolf to come and puff and puff. Well, I'm at risk of losing my housing and I'm just not sure what to do. Maybe a good marriage would take care of this. Oh yeah, that's not a good marriage. That's just a marriage for survival reasons. 
well, there's a lot of people who need immigration help. I could make $10,000 just by getting someone a green card by marrying. Oh, yeah, that's not. Again, that's, that may feel morally right that we help people with immigration issues, but it is not legal. It's not legal in a lot of places. Oh, I just don't know what to do. You kind of look like the people in The Handmaid's Tale where they were subjected to things because they were the breeders. They were able to breed. They were able to bring the next, you know, generation in. Well, I'm fairly certain that my people have been, oh, I don't know, it's all mixed. It's all mixed up into history. Exactly. It's all mixed up into history and you have people that are bound up and people with the weight of the world on their shoulders and you have other people where everything's been so blended in time. Oh, you don't even know what it's like to be work trafficked and, you know, people for you to think this, that, and the other thing about your people and what we've all helped each other. We've all nursed each other's babies. We've all, yeah. And this is the issue with some of the things that we're trying to do in the weight of the world, bringing issues that are important, like diversity, equality. We need real change. However, it does not change unless you do your grid work, unless you up level your light body unless you connect the etheric twin that gives you the information the guidance and the 5d connections and it's 5d and above so for some of you who've worked with me you're probably on your next leveling up this has a lot to do with toxic family and frankly the entire planet is like one big unhappy or happy human family all trying to learn to get along with each other the pandemic only brought these things to light. I would be remiss if I didn't say it, okay? I myself have had uh, to assist greatly with family members who were going through stuff that I recognized as ascension. It's easy to become impatient or upset with people when you think that they're just pressing your buttons. Look, I have a really good example from my own parents. My father was sick with diabetes and he had really bad brittle diabetes. But as he got older, he, he would have these um, drops in his blood sugar that would affect part of the structure in his head, his speech center, his um, being able to read and write properly. Well, unfortunately, his habit with my mother was to be sarcastic and play games with her and just kind of generally mess with her. My mother didn't know it, but she had a form of dyslexia and she would say the wrong word. Like, for example, instead of the word Cro-Magnon, meaning any, you know, a part of the human species, she would say something like Cro-Manian. And he'd pounce on that until she was in tears or my brother was in tears. To him, he thought he had a sharp wit. Now, what happened one day is they called me, she called me, my mom called me and she said, I'm not sure if your father is sick or if he's messing with me. So I drove over right away and I could see he had uh, broken into a sweat, but I asked him to write something down. The letters were perfect. The words were gibberish. He couldn't speak and within a flash, I knew he needed some sugar in his system. We got him some juice and then we got him right away over to the hospital. He was having an, uh, what they called at the time an insulin reaction. Now, as a pre-med student at the time, this was something critical. The timing was critical and yet their marital pattern was toxic. She didn't know if she could believe him. She didn't even credit him with actually being sick with a chemical reaction happening in his body. Now I'm t sharing this story with you so that number one, you cut some people some slack so that if there are men around you who have the weight of the world, they are the providers, you know, don't jump right away to the conclusion like he's toxic. Everyone grows up with a certain degree of dysfunction in their family or somewhere, somewhere along the line in your ancestry, your ancestors were nutritionally deprived. They were starved out. There were famines. There were other cataclysms. There were wars. There were invasions. There were people trouncing the whole village and making people start from scratch. There's a reason that ancient peoples would consume everything 
they had to, otherwise it would be stolen or spoiled. And they had to learn how to do things that in these modern times, we have more luxuries. Not everyone has luxuries, but we have more luxuries. When it comes to people and what is in their ancestry, what has formed modern peoples, you may find that someone from a certain culture has a mix or a blend of things that they may not even be aware of what was the history of that group. What was the history of this group? We have to get you untangled here, girl. I know it's just been too much and I'm so sensitive and I want to cry. I know this is overwhelming because the other thing is all your stuff's like coming in, you know, all your stuff's coming in and you need to rise up into it and you need to expand your light body so that you're capable of holding it, accessing it and utilizing it for your own life and then for other people. But that's a little bit selfish. It's actually more service to humanity from another level than you may realize. Okay, think about it. I can't even think I'm overwhelmed. Oh, I know. It's like time to get rolling with this. And I don't even know where to begin sometimes. The good news is, is I have the how-to. I want to talk to you about other toxic family patterns that come up. They can run the spectrum of mild things such as allergies that run in the family, eye issues that run in the family, things like nearsightedness, everyone wears glasses, everyone gets a cataract as they age. Now, certain ancestries do not produce enough of the proper enzymes and chemical signals in the body. This is where your twin flame body comes in because your twin flame body merges within you and above you to provide that living bridge to make up for the mistakes, the injuries, the missing pieces, the broken links, the broken damaged DNA, and starts upgrading you regardless of it. Now, can everything be fixed now? No, but you have to start from somewhere. You have to start, okay? This is about love. This is about a 5D love that encompasses every single part of your life. How are you supposed to carry the toxic family stuff? Now, what if dad in another life or even in this younger part of his life, he'd been sent to war and the government supplied him very well with beer and cigarettes and beer and cigarettes. Guess what that has an effect on? The cigarettes and the nicotine not only have an effect on his physical body, has an effect on the sperm, the children that have parents that have addictions, and the father has the addictions, guess what? That's a whole can of worms of small or large defects to happen. Everything from improper limb uh, structure and formation to things such as, you know, mild things like the eyes or the ears being affected because the person is literally continuing to alter their DNA. So it's a misconcept that like, oh, we're producing enough stuff down here, but what we're putting in here has no effect. That's just bullshit. That's just more um, stuff that people don't want to believe because why? Because they'd rather put it on the women. What does she have? What didn't she have? What didn't she do enough of? Was her womb clean? Was it not clean? So many times in past cultures, the people who were allowed to indulge themselves in those things were actually the males. They weren't the females. Females were forbidden from certain things. So their bodies were pretty clean and they would eat as well as they can. Sometimes they couldn't, okay? Nutritional things do have an effect. In modern times, we have um, much more awareness of not only the balance, but what nutrients to put in. But where does this play out in this timeline? This timeline is for things of your childhood. Breathing secondhand smoke, for example. Mild allergies, food sensitivities. Things that were passed down from dad. Things that dad did. Things that are a defect in the DNA that cause a mild or severe birth defect. Is that to be passed down to the future generations? Not necessarily. 
What we do now, the buck stops here to do this stuff. It's incumbent on you because you were called here and it's time to work on your twin flame body to not only bring out, but connect and reconnect, do the twin flame reconnection with me so that you are getting to that level. So think of it as like a mountain, okay? If you're going to 10,000 feet, you prepare for it. You pack certain things. You have to get there and breathe at that level. Do you know what it's like to breathe at 10,000 feet? Do you know what it's like to try and, you know, go underwater under the pressure and then come to the surface and let your lungs adjust? If you've ever done these things, you'll know why we experience some of this stuff. It is a very similar analogy. Now, I have ways to help you do this. And I will be running a 20-day and we are going to start with who one of the people I consider the goddess of fire, Magdalene. We're starting with her feast day. I don't really care what people think about her. I happen to know her personally. <laughs> that sounds pretty wild, I'm sure. But if you knew the Magdalene that I know, you'd be like, woohoo, a person of action. We, uh, when I do these classes, I explain things. We're going to do body work, twin flame breath work. What is twin flame breath? First of all, it is not yoga breath. It's not like, okay. Twin flame breath is getting your channels open so that the etheric twin breathes into you and breathes into compartments in your body that you didn't even know existed. That touches you deep inside, as they say, where the light and love needs to be. It would be like if someone dropped down something on a flashlight, like on a plumber's line, and was able to go and shine some light in there and really get a glow going. I teach you how to do that. So if you're just trying to do this with your mind, where you're like, is he a narcissist? Isn't he a narcissist? Please do yourself a favor. Switch gears so that we can rewind some of this damage, rewind some of the traumas, rewind some of the relationship patterns, particularly family patterns. Now, since about a week ago, I have seen three fires, two residential fires, one where the house absolutely burnt to, burnt to a crisp, to the two by fours, a warehouse fire, okay, I have, um, it's all about fire, but the fire is burning things off, okay? It has come into my awareness kidnappings, kidnappings of children. That too is a pattern mostly in the masculine mind, and it's about control, okay? Other things that come up during this, aspects of murder, aspects of virtually killing people, like by shutting them out or shoving them off land, Aspects of virtual and killing children by not giving them the proper nurturance. Now, if you had toxic parents, you know what I'm talking about. If your parents were good or, you know, you're going to see that there are things in your family that still need adjusting and upgrading. If you've been um, adopted, if you have considered adopting, if you have thought about all of the missing and exploited children, if you have talked about the unwanted children, because let's face it, there are people who have their children and they just really don't want them and it shows. They abandon their children in other ways. They neglect their children in other ways. The buck stops here. It's time to instill those 5D connections that allow for divine parenting and divine self-parenting so that what has happened is put as water under the bridge and we upgrade you and move you along into a level of love and health and mental health and emotional well-being that is fitting you. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. The links are below. Um, join my Patreon where I will have regular groups. And my website is twinflamereconnection.com. Thank you. Bye.